Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about gold. Is buying gold as a physical ornament or as a jewel is a good way of investing? Or if investing in gold as a commodity or if is it going to be a virtual investment or if you are buying gold as an investing thing, as an online gold, which one of these is the best practice? So we are going to find out the pros and cons of both of these methods. In the end of the video, we're going to talk about also a cool method where you can get the right advantage of buying gold or like owning gold assets. So without further delay, let's get started with this. So the first thing that we're going to talk about today is in like investing in gold, where the main thing which we're going to talk about is like four different key points. The first one is going to be your diversification. So diversification plays a very vital role because uh, all of us would be investor in stock markets. So they are uh, subject to your market conditions and your economic uh, instabilities and stuff. So there is a lot of inflation also involved in it or uh, at situations like COVID when the stock market was completely on its doldrums, we would be definitely seeking gold as an, another form of asset class. So that is going to be an asset class where we are going to choose that as a diversified investments besides your uh, uh, debt funds or your equity funds or anything of that matter. So that's the first or vital source of your uh, investing in gold, which is going to be diversified investment. Second thing is going to be your uh, value. So gold has always has got its values throughout the history of time. So uh, from the past, from our parents age, we all know that like gold has got its own charm and value. So everyone like tries or like at least our parents or our brothers, sisters, everyone tries to accumulate store or they try to store in a physical form at home in the form of jewelry or in the form of like physical tangible goals and stuff. So that also has it's got its own uh, store of value as well. The third important thing which we're going to talk about is about uh, liquidity. Gold is highly liquid. So anytime you are in need of money, you can just go to a pawnbroker or you can go to a nearby bank and you can just pledge your gold. With that pledge, you automatically get uh, equivalent of funds as well. So this could include your uh, physical gold, your gold coins or whatever it is. Even your online goals, we, we call them as like ETFs. So those goals are also like pledgeable. We can pledge those as well. So that's got its own advantage as well. Then the fourth important point is going to be your capital appreciation. So whatever gold you're going to purchase, they are definitely going to be like increasing in price as days moves on. So gold has got its automatic uh, appreciation as well. And that's definitely going to be an added boom to the uh, uh, industry, like whatever it is, like you're going to buy it as a physical gold or if you're going to buy it as an uh, uh, online investment of gold as well. So that's got its own um, appreciation value as well. So these four would be the main important advantages of uh, owning gold. So coming to the buying your gold. So buying gold could be in like various methods. The first method is going to be a physical gold. So this is available for purchase as coins or you can buy them as like gold bars as well. So the uh, physical ownership of that belongs to you and you own the gold at your home or you could uh, hold them in your bank lockers as well. But there is always a security threat involved in it. So the next method which you could be deploying is your uh, ETFs. So there are a lot of gold ETFs which are there traded in the market. So they would be automatically buying your golds and they would be trading in the market. Just like how you got equity stock markets. They are also having a small uh, ETFs on golds as well. Then the third way of buying gold would be in like gold mining stocks. There are a lot of companies who are like into uh, gold mining. So those companies are like uh, always has the potential to increase in the market. So whatever it is like the mining equities are best thing to always buy them in the stock market. So these could be the three methods where you can buy uh, gold methods like it could be a physical method or it could be a gold ETF or it could be a gold mining stock. So in this part of the video, we'll see the uh, differences between your digital gold as well as your uh, physical gold. We'll see the pros and cons of that. So the first point that I would give is going to be your form factor. So here in your uh, physical gold, we're going to call them all as like physical gold bars or jewelry or as bullion coins and stuff like that. But in your digital gold is always going to be electronic. We are going to be storing all of them in your uh, computers or it's going to be in like digital certificates or it's going to be online oriented. This is going to be stored inside your gold account. That's going to be the form factor of it. Then comes the second point, the reachability or the accessibility of it. So the physical gold requires you to like uh, purchase these gold items and you need to store them and you need to safe keep them. Whereas in case of your digital gold, it's very easy to access them or to safe keep them. It's just going to be like online apps or going to be like platform, online digital platforms. Then comes the most important point, which is going to be your liquidity. So liquidity is like uh, physical gold is going to be like low because uh, you need to buy an actual buyer. So you need to find that actual buyer and then like uh, trade your gold or you can go into gold shops and you can like try selling them and uh, encashing them. 
lot of gold shop they don't pay you instant cash they ask you to like uh, replace it with an equivalent ornaments or something of that sort or in case of your digital gold it's going to be like really simple it's like highly liquid you can just sell them online instantly and the funds would be like credited to your wallet or to your account instantly and the important thing which is going to be the most concerning thing is going to be the storage of gold physical gold is like really uh, uh, like it's going to be like really uh, difficult to store them because with a lot of uh, theft happening around it's uh, we need to like look in for a vault or you need to look out for a safe to safeguard your uh, gold assets whereas in case of digital gold it's going to be like really simple because there is no physical storage required it's just going to be like virtual it's going to be an online account then um, buying the gold also incurs transaction costs there is a lot of transaction costs when you are going to buy your physical gold there is going to be your uh, like the uh, the cost which is going to be involved with your transaction also in your uh, making charges there are a lot of other uh, additional charges which are going to be added up when it's going to be your physical gold but in case of your digital gold that's going to be like really minimum because uh, it's just going to be your online way of purchasing this then coming to the uh, portability what i mean by portability here is going to be like how are you going to like transport it or how you are going to like uh, trade it so that's going to be a very important thing or it's going to be a crucial thing here uh, when you are uh, gold purchases or your gold quantity increases it becomes highly difficult for you to carry all of this physical gold and when you have to like transport it from place a to place b it's going to be like really difficult but in case of a digital gold it's going to be like really easy that's again going to be one more point for your uh, uh, virtual gold and then comes a very important thing is going to be your price uh, the price of purchasing the physical gold is going to be differing definitely from your online purchases because uh, the seller definitely adds up his own profits into this the profit margins are going to be added to this also comes your uh, making charges all the other charges as well which are going to be added to this but when it is going to be your online gold there is nothing of that sort because you are going to be like uh, with the transparent and reflective price whatever is going to be the bullion market that price or that day that is going to be your actual buying cost there is nothing else which is going to be involved and this again brings you a lot of uh, transaction costs which are going to be like very lower when compared to the price what your uh, seller is going to give you with the physical gold actually then volatility it this is subject to be like uh, market uh, involved because gold market is like really uh, volatile as like your equity market though in that not in that standards it is definitely volatile as like your stock market whereas the physical gold market is not as volatile as your uh, digital market so that is going to be one plus point for your physical gold you can just take your physical gold and go to a pawn shop and you can just immediately barter it and you can get your equivalent amount of cash so that's not going to be like as volatile as your uh, virtual gold then uh, the most important thing again which we're going to talk about is going to be your investment strategy so uh, investment is going to be for uh, long term wealth creation that's what we all have in mind so when you're buying a physical gold you are always concerned about uh, buying for a long term you buy and purchase an ornament or a jewelry or something you try to keep it for the generations ahead normally our parents give it to us and we give it to your offsprings and stuff so it's like a, a lineage of heritage that's how it's been transferred from like parents to your children children to the offsprings and things like that whereas in case of your uh, digital gold it's going to be more like a equity trading we try to invest for short term and long term we try to like trade trade for the profits and you can sell it anytime and you can just report the profits and you can enjoy this anytime in your lifetime itself so these would be the differences between your physical gold as well as your uh, uh, digital gold and these are the points which you could see here in the screen here the whatever is going to be the plus point for physical gold and whatever is the plus for your uh, physical gold then coming to the main important thing which is the right way to invest in your gold is it going to be the best way to invest in digital gold yes it's definitely a very good way to invest in digital gold but not in these kind of things where it is going to be an etf or it is going to be an online app or something that's going to make you buy gold ornaments in fragments they give you an option to buy the gold purchases in fragments even for 1000 or 2000 rupees you'll be able to buy gold but those are all like though they are like really accessible and they are like really um, cost free they are not the right way to invest the only right way to invest in gold is definitely going to be your sgbs so these are nothing but your sovereign gold bonds so these are something which are put forth by the rbi so rbi gives you announcement every 6 months you will be able to buy these uh, sovereign gold bonds from any of these brokers you can buy it from grow or you can from zero da anybody sells these sgbs so the advantage of this sgb is that like there is an appreciation in the gold price so whatever is the market price of gold that is going to be the first thing the second thing is going to be a 2.5% of interest which is going to be paid every 6 months 
So that's going to be a 2.5% of interest that will be paid to you automatically. So that's the second plus point. The very important point is that like this uh, SGBs comes with a fixed tenure. Like you need to like hold these accounts for five years or seven years and things like that. So that will be noted in your uh, trading account itself, like how many years you need to hold them. The time when you sell this gold, there's something called as capital gains, which we normally forget. So that's like completely capital gain free. So this becomes one of the coolest way of investing in the uh, sovereign gold bonds. So any investment that you're going to uh, make, that is going to come out with the profits, like the whatever inflation is going to be in gold or the appreciation, along with the 2.5% of interest that's going to get added up every single year, plus the, uh, which will be a cumulative one as well, like how it is compounding in your mutual funds. So that's going to be the coolest way and this is completely tax free. So that's the most coolest part of this. So if at all you're going to invest in gold, never go with gold as a physical ornament unless and until if your family demands you or you are in need of a gold ornament to gift it to someone or for your marriage or for any other reasons, just go for that. In all other cases, go for gold as an investment. That's the wisest choice. And that too, it has to be only an SGB. Only that is going to be like lucrative or it is going to give you the best uh, appreciation towards your cost that is going to be like investor into the market. So if you like this video, do share it with your friends and do leave your comments as well. And I'll catch you up in the next one. Thank you.